Hi, this is Dave. Thanks for joining me on another crystal adventure. On this day, I found this piece of quartz laying on the surface, mostly covered with uh, dirt. I kicked it over and I noticed there on the right, the flat sides. And that's always a great sign is when you find a chunk of quartz with flat sides or a chunk of quartz like this one that has some uh, feldspar on it as well. And that's a good sign of a pegmatite. So I dug a test hole at, right underneath where I found this and I pulled out some more pieces that had flat sides. Um, and then all of a sudden I started seeing the, the crystals. That's what you're looking for. And today it paid off. As I continued to dig, I was finding some great pieces of quartz with flat sides, but nothing that was fully hedral or a full crystal face yet. But that's common when you're digging on the in a crystal pocket. You're going to dig a lot of uh, partial crystals out for every single crystal that you find. So it just requires some patience uh, and that you go through a lot of dirt. In this case, this is a nice matrix piece uh, with several quartz crystals, points sticking out of it. Unfortunately, however, the pocket was full of muck as well, and uh, the crystals uh, on this plate didn't turn out so, so pretty. As I continued, you find uh, that there's a lot of big chunks with flat sides, or mostly flat sides, so that tells you you're still on the trail, that the crystals started to form. And there's some great signs of points and flat sides on the quartz. As I got deeper into the pocket, I started finding a lot of crystals with flat sides, some big, which is a great sign of a crystal pocket. Lots of good shape, and uh, you know that you're in a crystal pocket because obviously you're getting quartz with shapes. It's quite exciting to, once I started seeing this, what appeared to be a crystal point. Sometimes you'll find where it looks like a great crystal point, but then it's just on one side, the other side doesn't look real good. But this one showed a lot of promise that it could be a fully hedral crystal. Um, so as always, you just have to pull out the pieces and parts. Uh, they're all kind of like a puzzle. They're pull them out one piece at a time um, and take your time with it. Uh, so you don't damage anything as you're excavating these. But my patience paid off. This was a beautiful crystal, fully hedral, and a nice size as well. It had some uh, healing on the backside of the crystal, uh, so where it was, it continued to grow after it had uh, fallen away from the, the edge of the pocket. 
and obviously there is a decent amount of room in this pocket for crystals to grow to this size that you're seeing. Crystal pieces and parts were definitely coming out and they were a decent size, but I kept going and it seemed to pinch out. So I uh, buried the hole, packed it up for the day, and uh, decided that I would come back at some point in time in the future, which I did. Stay tuned for the next video and I will show you uh, the, how this pocket continues.